Oh, hello. It's great that you could join us for a messy Easter day. I'm out in the garden at the moment, enjoying the sunshine. And I love this time of year because all of the leaves are starting to come out in our garden. Things are starting to spring to life. And it's all looking really pretty on the trees, on the plants. And our story today involves leaves, not the sort of plants I'm growing here in the garden though. So why don't we go and listen to our story today about Jesus entering Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. So our story today takes place a week before Easter Sunday, on a day we call Palm Sunday. And we'll find out in a minute why we call it Palm Sunday. Now Jesus was travelling down from the Mount of Olives and he was going to visit Jerusalem because he wanted to go to the temple there. And as he got close, he sent two of his special friends, the disciples, to go and collect a young donkey, that's called a colt, from a nearby farm. So the disciples went off and soon they found the donkey and they said to the landowner, we need this donkey for Jesus to ride into Jerusalem. And the owner of the donkey gave it to them and so they took it back to Jesus. Next, they laid their cloaks on the back of the donkey and Jesus climbed on and they travelled towards Jerusalem. Now at this time in Jerusalem there was a really special festival going on called the Passover. Passover was a time when all of the Jews gathered together to celebrate God saving them when they were in Egypt. And the crowd heard that Jesus was coming into Jerusalem and they all wanted to go and see him. So they headed off to try and meet Jesus and watch him entering the city. And when they got there, some of them took their cloaks from their back and laid them on the ground for the donkey to walk on. Others, they went and took branches from the palm trees and waved the palm leaves as Jesus came in. And they shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of God. And they followed Jesus into the city, where Jesus went for the last seven days before Easter Sunday. And that is why we call it Palm Sunday, because of the use of the palm branches to wave to greet Jesus into the city. And some of you might have been given palm crosses at church before to remember the day. So for our messy church activity today, we're going to make a bit of a game to remember the donkey coming in to the city of Jerusalem. So that's what we're going to do now. So why don't we go? and have a go at our activity for today. So there are a few things we're going to need for our activity as we make our donkey board game. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a pair of scissors. Now do make sure you get the help of a grown-up when using scissors. Uh, make sure you've got their permission before you start. Next thing we're going to need are some clothes pegs. Ideally these wooden ones. You're going to need two of those per person playing. So for every player you want two clothes pegs. The next thing we're going to need is some sellotape. Okay, so a roll of sellotape and a glue stick. So grab your glue stick. Then we're going to need some, if you want to colour in your donkey, some colouring crayons or pens or something like that. So anything like that. So that's what you're going to need. Then you can download from the link in the description our donkey pictures if you want, or you could draw your own and we'd love to see some of your donkey creations if you do draw them. And also we've got a giant dice that you can cut out and make, or you could just grab a dice from one of your board games at home to play. And then finally, we've done a board 
game map for you, which you can use and print out. But again, try making your own map. It can be great fun to design your own challenges on the road to Jerusalem. And we'd love to see those as well. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out our donkey. So we're just going to cut around the lines. I've already done this just to speed things up so we can see what that looks like. And then if you want to, you can colour your donkey in. And we'd love to see some of your finished donkeys and what colours you've chosen for them and for the roads that were thrown over. Then we're going to take the clothes pegs and we're going to put one on the front and one on the back of the donkey. And our donkey now has legs. And this should mean that our donkey can now stand up. Okay, so we can pop our donkey to the side for the moment because the next thing we're going to do is cut out our play dice. So all we want to do is cut around all of the lines, leaving in the little tabs. And we should find it looks like this. So now what we want to do is take the dice. And when we have these little tabs on the edges, we're going to fold them over. So we've got them all the way around the dice here. We're going to fold them over and then we're going to fold them back again. So they're flat once more. So we'll do that all the way around the dice. And this is where we're going to pop our glue in a minute to make the dice stick together. Okay, so we fold all the way around there. You might also find it helpful to fold along the other lines of your dice. It's sometimes going to make it easier to put together. So then we grab our glue stick and we're going to put glue just on the tabs. Glue onto each and every one of those. And this is a tricky bit, so you might want to get a grown-up to help you here. We're going to fold the different parts of the dice over, and then we're going to stick the tabs underneath each little square. And we should find, as we go around and do that, we start to make a cube. Sometimes it can be helpful to fold a little bit, so stick all the way around. Now, once that's done, you're going to need to leave it for a little while. So, I've done that already because it needs to glue before you can start to use it. But you should find yourself with a nice big dice, which you can use to play the game. Okay, the final bit, and this is the, the last bit of this part, is that you want to get your board game mat. Again, we'd love to see your designs for your own board games. But our mat here is made of four different pieces that you can print out, again, using the link below. And it looks a little bit like this when it's finished. So you can see how the donkey will move around the path on our board game. So we need to stick these together. So we're going to get a little bit here of sellotape. And we just want to stick that on the front of the pieces of paper. Now, this is how we play the game. Your donkey starts with its front legs on the first space and you roll your dice. And then each time you move, you move your donkey's legs to their next space. So his front legs will move five spaces, like that. Now there's a few things that might help or hinder your donkey. If you land on a stick, a fallen branch in the road, you have to miss a turn. But if you land on a carrot, donkeys like carrots, you get an extra go so you can roll again and move once more. If you land on a palm branch, which has been waved, you get to move an extra space. So that's how you play the game. So then you need to be the very first person to make it to the finish line, and you're the winner when you make it to Jerusalem. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our craft activity and game today. And we look forward to seeing you again at our next messy church activity. And we'd love to see all of your designs of your donkeys and your maps. See you again soon.